Hey guys. Okay, in this installment or episode, I guess, uh, we're going to be learning how to install a new all-wheel drive switch. Now, a couple of reasons why. One, switch might be bad, wiring might be messed up. Um, this also works to bypass the override system, so it stays in four-wheel drive whether you're going forward or backwards without having to push the button. So, what we do is I use these switches off of Amazon. These are really good um, marine grade switches. They're weatherproof, uh, very nice. What I do is I mount them up here, you know, on either side, cut the hole, and you mount it right up here in the console, okay? Now, we'll come over here. Got lots of work. Got Ranger in here now. My goodness, I gotta clean up. All right, so I'll show you what I do. Let me put you guys in the tripod here. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so with this Amazon switch, got these terminals on it. Okay, so first thing I do is I make some jumper wires. All right, let's do. Uh, this one first now of course i've got to still seal these up and wrap them all up nice but this is just to show you how i do it so basically you're going to make two shorts into a splice and then a long okay on this end you're going to have two female spades on the other end you're going to have a male spade okay now these ones we got the switch Hold the switch like this okay your these two ends are going to go on let me read this here terminal six which is right here all right and terminal two okay just like that put that aside then you're going to make this weird contraption okay so again you're going to do two into one and these are going to be female spades okay then you're going to come down to a male spade okay so your main line you're going to go two to one into a male another one coming out with a male spade on that side okay now these Go on the two top terminals or terminal eight and terminal seven okay these are your grounds okay just like that now you got this terminal down here the last one terminal three very simple just a straight line okay and i haven't put a spade on here yet um, but this should be uh, a male spade on this end Okay, if you take your female spade and you plug it onto terminal number three, okay, just like that. All right, now let's go back over to the 700 and uh, I'll show you how to hook it up. And I grab the switch, and this does work. This is for the newer ones without the circuit board. Uh, I popped my hood off here. So if you have the rat nest with the circuit board, this also works. I'll post a video of you know not how to do this end but how to do this end on these um, so you still hook the switch up the exact same way on this end it just hooks up a little different here um, however we're working on the newer style so now this quad previously has had a lot of electrical work somebody was should not have been doing electrical and was in here and messed a lot of stuff up. So I've had to fix a lot. Um, but basically, you're going to have your red-white splice, okay, splice pack. And then you're going to have your brown splice pack, okay. Like I said, somebody's already been in here. This is actually spliced to battery power all the time. You don't want to hook up to that. I don't know why somebody put that in there. I got to close this one up. Um, but you'll have another, you'll have two splice packs, the red and white, and then you'll have a brown one with a bunch of browns in it with a splice pack. 
Now, to open these up, these are actually spades in here, but they're they're closed up. So I take an X-Acto knife and I just cut the top of the rubber, okay? And that will open it right up. And then you just peel it back a bit so you can get in to there. And then same thing with the brown. But like I said, somebody's already been in here. They put this on, I don't freaking know. They had some stereo system in here. It was all hacked up. Okay, so now back to our switch. So we're gonna take, first thing is our ground. Okay, so that first female on your ground side, okay? Now, bear with me, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. But that's gonna plug into your brown splice, okay? So hang on, look at the fender. Isn't that a pretty dirty fender? All right, so we're gonna plug that one right there, boom. Now, this end, okay, I haven't done it yet, but you find, there's your four-wheel drive harness here. You unplug it, and what I do is I cut these wires, okay? And then I put um, female spades on those, okay? So you're gonna take the other end of your black and you're gonna plug it into the brown on the four wheel drive, okay? So that's done. Not really, but okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then your two to one red, okay? Hang on. Again, not a cameraman, mechanic. Okay, the two to one red is gonna go into your red and white splice pack right here, okay? So hang on, look at the fender again, pretty fender. All right, so I'm gonna plug this into the red and white splice pack. All right, and again, it's not pushed in all the way, but into your red and white splice pack, just like that, okay? Then you're gonna take your single red it comes off the switch, okay? And of course, this would have a female spade on it. And you're gonna get your four-wheel drive harness here again. The gray wire should, you'll put a, uh, a um, oh, I'm sorry. This will be, yeah, this will be a male spade on this end, I'm sorry. And then you're gonna put a female spade on the gray wire. So your single red is gonna go to the gray wire on the four-wheel drive. Now, once you've done that, <clears throat> excuse me, everything's hooked up, okay? Switches off, okay? When we come up here and we turn the key on, okay, we've got dash power. Now you got power on the switch. This down here just indicates that you've got power. So watch, as I turn the key off, turn the key on. Off, on, okay? So now the switch has got power going to it, indicating that it's good. And when you click up on this one, boom. That little, isn't that cool? That little four wheel drive light lights up. And that will then send power down to your Hiller clutch and it'll activate your four wheel drive system. And it'll work perfectly fine. It'll work in reverse. And it will work in forward, no issues, on and off. Off, we're back to two wheel, on, we're back to all wheel. Very simple, very, very simple. Uh, this will work with, um, you know, the centralized Hiller clutches like the Sportsman's have. Um, a lot of the Magnums and uh, some of the earlier Sportsman's, they still have, you know, the clutches that, uh, in the wheel assemblies. Um, and if that's the case, you're going to have uh, <clears throat> two of these, you know. Um, and basically, it's just gray to gray, brown to brown, and then the brown goes to your black on your switch, and the gray goes to the red on your switch. So you just tie, you know, both your front uh, clutches into one, into your switch, and you're done. On the centralized, you're only going to have one plug. And then, like I said, on these guys, a uh, little different because you can use the circuit board to repin and use it that way. Or you can still do it, you know, um, the way I did it, where you take and tie the two 
grays together, the two browns together, tie those into the red and black. And then pretty much all you got to do is, uh, right here is your, your brown strap. So you just hook up to your brown and then over here is the red and white strip and you hook the other end of the switch up to that. So, but I'll, I'll go a little more in detail because this sportsman needs it. Uh, the four wheel drive, the throttle was all messed up and it was the old metal. The switch was bad. So I, I changed it over to the new plastic style, but this is a non four wheel drive. So I just got to get it worked out, but I'll show you guys on this one, how to hook up to the circuit boards, but that's pretty much it. And uh, I mean, there your four wheel drives on. Even if you forget to shut the light off, turn the key off, all the power goes away. Turn the power back on, you're right back in a four wheel drive. That's it, simple. So uh, yeah, until next time, uh, hope you all have a good night and hope this helps you guys out.